All right, welcome back. As we are approaching Christmas, one of the favorites is the Nutcracker. Joining us virtually, we have Mitzi from Lafayette Ballet Theater. Good afternoon, Mitzi. And to you. I am so excited you're here. You guys have been coming back each week. This week, we're talking about your costumes that you use for the Nutcracker. They're just beautiful. Well, I can't imagine a ballet without costumes or scenery for that matter. The costumes are extremely important. Now we have about 140, between 140 and 150 dancers in the cast. And some of these dancers have double costumes because they're in double roles. So keeping track of the costumes, getting them to the theater and back, um, maintaining them, it, it, that's a full-time job right there. Yeah, no, it yeah. is. And so you have, you have one of the costumes to, to show I off. Yes, I did. I brought a couple of my favorite ones, so we'll see how many we get to. I brought, first of all, it's the marzipan variation. There are four dancers in the marzipan variation. Each tutu runs about $5,000. Wow. That's an expensive variation right there. <laughs> uh, the reason the tutus are quite as expensive is the time that uh, goes into making these tutus has to be at a different um, uh, dimension yeah. and uh, length to make the tutu fall properly. Now, these tutus are not for partnering work, so there's less detail that goes into them. But when you have a tutu that has to be partnered by a guy, you can't have any decorations or anything around the waist because that's where they lift the girls and turn the girls. So each tutu is specific to the variation, and it does entail um, weeks to put this together. It's, we are very lucky. We have our mother, Patty Heath, who does all of these tutus for us. I know. She I is a imagine. trooper. <laughs> oh, she's amazing. And she will be the first one to tell you she doesn't know how to sew, but her costumes are incredible on stage. Oh. Uh, very lucky. We have one did, minute left. Okay, Ooh. I did bring Walls of the Flowers, another beautiful costume. This is a longer skirt. Um, it's called a romantic tutu because of its length and um, it is to resemble a flower, and, and I think it does such. It, it does. Resembles, yeah, as if it has petals and everything. That's one of so, my favorites to, to watch on stage with those costumes. I love that one. I, I agree. I agree. And I can't imagine, again, doing this without the costumes. They are, they are vital for the production and the exactly. performance. They help and tell the, the story. They're so oh, fun. The, uh, the kids love it. You put the kids in a costume and put makeup on, and they're in seventh heaven. So, <laughs> so they're, they're. and Mitzi, really quickly before we go, tickets are on okay. sale now. How can people buy tickets for the virtual performance this year? Oh, we hope you will begin your Christmas celebrations with Lafayette Ballet Theater's Nutcracker. Tickets are on sale at our website, lafayetteballettheater.org. Two performances, December the 19th at 7 p.m. and December the 20th at 2 p.m. Well, Mitzi, thank you so much for coming on to show us some of the beautiful pieces that are in the Nutcracker. Thank you so much, Taylor. Absolutely. And if you guys at home want to purchase tickets or get an up-close look at those costumes one more time, this interview is going to be on our website, KLAF.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this. But first, let's check in with Corey.